Hello everybody, my name's Stupid Ninja, and today I have for you Mini Optimus Prime V2. So, this guy I think is pretty cool compared to V1. V1 just didn't work, but this guy definitely looks really good and works really well. He even has tail lights and headlights. And uh, I did a little altering to the uh, windshield. I just kind of moved some pieces over to make it a little stronger. He has a nice flat top, except for these two uh, missing studs, or one by ones, but there's nothing I could put there, so yeah. Uh, he has all six wheels, of course. Um, a nice bumper, and uh, yeah. Looks pretty good. And his gun looks practically the same. I don't think I changed anything on this. Uh, so there's that. First I'll get into comparisons, then I'll get into how to transform this guy, and then I'll show you how to build him. So, uh, first here he is compared to the new Stupid Ninja minifigure using the double arm mold. So there's that. Uh, here he is compared to G1 Bumblebee. So, yeah. Here he is compared to G1 Ratchet. I already showed this in the Ratchet video, but here it is again. Here it is compared to Ironhide version 1.5. So, yeah, there he is. Here he is compared to Bumblebee version 2. So, there is that. And, uh, yeah, those are all the vehicle comparisons. So let's get into transformation and how to build this guy. So first what you want to do when transforming this guy is just pull the arm out like that and then pull the entire shoulder out. It's really cool how I built this. Uh, it's actually one of the new laser, point, uh, laser pointer button pieces from Lego Ninjago. That's where I got it anyway on the Mecha Karma Man set. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in other sets. That's just the one I got it from. So you just do that on both sides. His arms pull out nicely like that. This makes him look much better, much more like, uh, you know, Optimus Prime. And then you're going to push these back and then pull the legs down. Then you're going to uh, stand him up. Okay, now we're going to twist his legs around. So just flip those around. There's his feet. And then you're going to pull this down, same transformation for the head practically. Flip that around, twist that around, and push that back in. It looks nice, you could pop this off if you want, but I don't mind it. And there you have Optimus Prime G1, or Mini Optimus Prime G1, in his new robot mode. So, yeah, this looks so much better. Um, his arms do go down. It's kind of an illegal thing there, but I'm fine with it because it looks really nice. Um, yeah, I just, I really like this guy. He works so much better than V1. Uh, for articulation, his arms, of course, move in and out. They turn here, and the elbow does bend a little. His leg moves forward that far, backward as far as you want. Twists, and there's no knee, but I don't care. I use him as a statue. And he looks really good. Then you can take his gun and just slot it in right there. Kind of position everything how you want it. And there you have Mini Optimus Prime G1 V2. So I think it looks really nice. The wheels hide nicely in the back, or the front wheels do, I guess. The legs are nice. I like this better than what it was before. Uh, the feet are much better. The uh, shoulders are much, much better because he actually has shoulders now. The head actually has antenna compared to what it was before. And you can turn this if you want it to be turned. Like that. To create a bit of a mouth. But I didn't. Whoops. But I didn't mainly because uh, if you have it like that, then his head's not going to transform. So I didn't. But. While this falls off, I'll just show you the mechanism for the arm. So it's just one of these new little Ninjago pieces. It's kind of a stud with a little pin on top. That's how his arms work, which I'm really proud of. So yeah, 
there he is and now we'll get into comparisons so here he is compared to mini G1 Bumblebee so that looks funny here he is compared to the stupid ninja minifigure so it looks okay here he is compared to mini ratchet so that works here he is compared to movie Ironhide so that looks fine and you can see the changes it did to Ironhide's head it's now one of these pieces and then the legs are all black now so those are the changes to Ironhide but there he is and not last not least here he is compared to mini uh, mini movie Bumblebee V2 that was uh, confusing so there he is there here he is compared to Megatron so that works and finally here he is compared to Big Prime's head now, I still haven't shown Big Prime but here is his head his head looks really nice it's pretty big um, so yeah Big Prime's head heh <laughs> I currently don't have the uh, means to make a video about this guy because my stage is too small. But once I do, you will all be seeing Big Prime. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now let's get in how to build this guy. So here is Prime, uh, sort of disassembled, and uh, let's get right into it. So to start, you're going to need to build these two pieces. Um, this was just a one by one brick with all. Uh, one by one with a stud on the side and then this one's a headlight brick then you're going to need a headlight brick and a travis brick with a one by one right there and that will just clip together like that makes a really strong core uh, then you can take the bumper and that just goes right there uh, like that at this point you can just take the head and that's just one of these pieces and then a couple bricks there and a brick with a stud on the side and the head itself is just a one by one square piece a clip piece and then a stud for the neck and that just slides in right there and you can push it as far as it could go and then you're going to build this piece which is just a two by three with a one by one right there and that goes right there and then you can just put that right in like that and that should look nice Flip the head around, and there you go. And then you can take the windshield, which is just, uh, if I can get this in focus, a 1x1 one one here, a 1x2, one a 1x2, one and then two 1x1s. One you can sort of see it in the little glare there. And then I read 1x3 on the bottom with a little red 1x1 one one square piece on the top. And that just goes right there. And that makes a nice flush surface if this is turned correctly. There we go. And now you can build the arms, which consist of this new piece. It's just this little tiny little stud with a pin on the top. And that fits in right there. Then you take this contraption, which is two little side clips and then one in the middle. And that goes right there. And then you build the arm, which consists of one of these missile pieces. You gotta put this in specifically. So it's like this, or else sometimes it doesn't really fit in all the way, so yeah, just make sure it's facing this way. And then build a forearm, which is a 1x3 with a st uh, little 1x1 one one stud, has to be flat, and then a 1x2 there, and then another little hand piece, and just a 1x1 one one gray piece right there. And that just slides in right there. Then you can build the other arm, place that on the other side, and just pop it in place. And now for the top of the vehicle, take a 1x2 with a stud on the bottom, has to be a stud, a round one, it can't be a square one because then the arm won't transform. So that goes right there. <laughs> just get two of those, put those there, and you're good. And then. For the legs, you'll need a T-joint and then a little uh, clip piece with a stud on the side. And then one of these Technic tubes with a stud with a little hole in it. And that just goes right there with the little uh, slit facing out. 
cards that kind of serves as the gas tank. And then you'll take a one by one brick, place that on the end, and then on the end of that you'll take a one by one brick with a hole. Then one of these little pieces with the wheel on there, or the stud, and then just a headlight brick. Or I used one anyway, you can use anything. Um, and then it goes right there. And then, yeah, you just finish the leg off with one of these pieces. And then two little one by one square pieces for the taillights. And that will slide in right there. If you got it all lined up, it should look like that. Then you can build the other leg. Make sure it's oriented correctly. And that'll go right in there. And then, once you get everything adjusted how you want it, there you have your very own mini Lego Optimus Prime V2. And the gun is very simple. It just consists of a uh, pole going all the way through, a little pin. I don't know what it's called. And then a, a little stud with a hole right there, and a headlight brick, and then a slope on the back. And you just fit that all together. And there you have his gun. So, yeah, pretty simple. And that can't really store anywhere. I guess you could try to put it in there, but I never have. There you go. That's one way to store the gun. But anyway, there he is. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you built this guy, leave a like. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy this video, leave a dislike. Make sure to tell me why you didn't enjoy this video. And uh, yeah, if you have any ideas for any more Transformers, make sure to leave those in the comments. I will be making a lot of stuff. I do have some Justice League stuff in the works. Mainly because I do not, and I really do not want to just build Transformers all the time. I mean, I've built some pretty cool ones, and I'm looking at them right now. But I do want to build some other stuff, like superhero stuff and this, that kind of thing. Uh, and I do have Paladins minifigures, so if anybody likes that, then you can ask me about it. But yeah, that's what I have for today, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you next video.